Hello, my dear visitor and subscribers. Nice to meet you here again here at Crazy Engine. Today we will continue our story with the Technopower five-cylinder radial engine. And today I'm planning to assemble it and to prepare it for the next uh, test run. So let's watch the whole story. Thank you. All parts were thoroughly cleaned and right now are ready to be assembled. I also reduced the uh, video uh, size, uh, excluding some small parts of uh, assembly. Correct assembling in this point is very important. There are special grooves are milled in the cylinder wall, so cone rod doesn't touch the cylinder wall. One cylinder shows uh, 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 low compression uh, level, so I decide to dismantle it fully to understand what's going on, probably with the wealth. And I should say that basically everything is okay. The first part of assembling uh, completed. I installed the glow plug in all five cylinders and right now checking the compression. So it seems to be everything is okay. The second part it's the installation of the valve uh, boxes. and uh, adjustment adjustment of the valves it's i think in this engine it's the most complicated part during the valve adjustment routine i found that not all the valves are working even clearly some have mechanical resistance uh, inside so i was obliged to uh, dismantle uh, each uh, valve mechanism in uh, a head. The reason was I found the old old oil which is sitting on the saddles. Very complicated uh, is the valve mechanism from the point of view of adjustment. Every time when you need to adjust the valve gap you need to take out the uh, arm uh, manually adjust it with approximation and then put it back to uh, find the 
the way where compression is uh, good but uh, there is no any uh, big play here should say that I was very surprised when I found any uh, gasket uh, in this engine so I decide to um, make a kind of insulation by the silicone grease to put to put all tubes intake tubes to avoid fuel losses So our engine is assembled fully and ready to be mounted on the bench. So my dear visitors and subscribers, as you may have noticed, the engine has a certain set of design features and possibly disadvantages and faults, and this complicates the assembly work seriously. I spent uh, twice uh, time to assemble uh, it back. I hope engine was assembled correctly and in the next video it will be mounted on the bench and we will test the uh, how my work was correct thank you for watching and see you very soon at crazy engine have a nice day bye